Hey guys, it's me, Zach, from Pro Play Games, and I wanted to do a deck profile video for the deck that I made top 32 with in the recent Collinsville, Illinois Regional Championships. So for this event, I decided to play Buzzwell Garbodor. Um, it's a deck that I've been playing for a few weeks at uh, League Cup before this event and at the Sydney uh, International Championships in Australia. So uh, I don't want to take too much of your time away, so I'll jump right into the deck. So let's see what we have here. So in this deck, I played four Buzzwell. This is the main attacking Pokemon of the deck. We have three attacks here, Jet Punch, 30 and 30 to another bench Pokemon. Knuckle Impact, 160 damage. This Pokemon can attack during your next turn. And Absorption GX, which does 40 times the amount of prize cards you have remaining left. So the goal of this deck is to power up Buzzwell as quickly as possible to use Knuckle Impact or Absorption GX. Usually you want to use Absorption GX first because it will allow you to attack the next turn, which you could use Knuckle Impact which means in most cases, Buzzle is going to be drawing four prize cards. So in this deck, our goal is to power up our attacks in order to knock out some bigger HP Pokemon by using damage modifiers, such as Fighting Fury Belt. And we also have Strong Energy. So the Fighting Fury Belt adds 10 and gives us 40 HP to put us at 230 HP. And Strong gives an additional 20 damage. And you might be wondering how do we power up the deck as quickly as possible so we have max elixirs in our deck. Max elixirs allow us to look at the top four or top six cards of our deck and choose a basic energy and attach it to one of our bench Pokemon. So you can quickly see between us having a bunch of basic energies, which we have 10 fighting in total. We can power up our Buzzwool very quickly. And this is really the main core of the deck. Now, if you're playing any Buzzwool deck, Usually it's a Buzzwell Eigenrock. I chose a different route than that. I wanted to lock my opponents out into play. So I put in a Garbodor lineup with Garbotoxin. So it's just a 2-2 line. And uh, I'll let you know now, I will have the PTCGO screenshotted list at the end of this video if you want to check that out, because I know it's a little hard to follow sometimes. But Garbotoxin, it takes away some strong abilities in the game, such as Zorak GX's Trade, Tapu Lele's Wonder Tag, etc. So... It's really good at locking your opponent out of cards. If you think of the deck that you've played at your last tournament, odds are you've played abilities in it, at least in most decks. So you got to see that. For the rest of our Pokemon, Pseudo Wudo, we have Watch and Learn that can copy our opponent's attacks. Um, we have Espeon EX, which can be really good with uh, Buzzwell's Jet Punch, its first attack there. In order to make that even a stronger component in our, in our deck, we play a Po Town line. We play three Po Towns in our list. If I could find the Potowns, that'd be great. <laughs> there they are. So whenever your opponent's uh, Pokemon evolves, or any player's Pokemon, it, it goes for us as well. We do have the Garbodor, so do be careful of that. They take three damage counters. So if you're playing against a Greninja or anything like that, um, they're evolving many times. They have to evolve like three times. They could take 90 damage with this card. So we have Tapu Lele. That allows us to search for some of our Pokemon or search for some of our supporters that can power up our Pokemon or power up our hands to draw more cards. Then we have Mewtwo, which is a really good counter towards any Psychic type Pokemon that's weak to Psychic type. So Buzzwolves, Mew EX, really strong. And we also have uh, four Professor Sycamore in the deck, four Cynthia, three N. So these are really our draw supporter line. Um, we want to use those depending on the situation to draw our cards appropriately. And then we have Guzmas. We want to bring up our Pokemon, hit them with Knuckle Impact or Absorption GX as quickly as possible. Draw those important prize cards. We also play a Super Rod to get our energies back in so we can hit Max Elixir's late game. And we do play four Floatstones. Sorry, I dropped a couple of them. That's a really get free retreat on any of our Pokemon, but it also allows us to power up the Garbotoxin uh, ability on Garbodor. And lastly, we have four Ultra Balls. Pretty standard in most decks, we just want to search out of our Pokemon. <clears throat> the deck has done really well recently. It actually came second at the event. Unfortunately, not me, but it's great to see similar ideas doing well because it means I'm on the same wavelength as those players. I don't see any reason not to play it in standard right now, the way that the format's built. So I'd say give it a try, and thank you so much for supporting Pro Play Games. That's it for today. Thanks.